Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at something quite random. Lego wheelchairs. As you can see, this is clearly going to go off very well. Um, now, this is obviously quite a, a random topic, more obscure, but I mentioned talking about them when I did the Lego racing wheelchair video, I believe. Um, and now I finally got a regular day chair, um, so what a racing wheelchair, I might get that out for this video, but the main thing that I want to talk about is the Lego wheelchair. Now this set, or this wheelchair came from the Avatar Site 26, Site 27, something like that, Lego Avatar set with Lego wheelchair. That, that, that's all that I can really say. And um, honestly, just taking a quick look at it. Um, I might show some quick pictures of it up on the screen while I'm talking about it, but it's pretty good. Like, it's not perfect. I, I don't think I could, uh, say that, like, this is a good, accurate representation of most wheelchairs. Um, I can see, like, the key points. It's even got some annoying parts of wheelchairs included in this. Um, it uses a... It's got four pieces, um, and that is a skateboard piece on the front, or on the bottom. Again, I don't know how you can see everything. And then two specialised wheels either side, which are also used for the racing wheelchair. Now, taking a look at the mould of the main chair, I'm going to take off one of the wheels, which are very easy to take off, just like real wheelchairs. And uh, the thing that I was on about, which is an annoying part of a wheelchair that is included is uh, the gap between the back of the seat and then the side guard. I'm going to guess this is going to be like the the black side guard that I got, where it like stops your leg from rubbing on the wheel. But it's got like this random gap here, which is accurate to my wheelchair and every other wheelchair that I've had. So obviously I don't think it was intentionally done. It could have been. Maybe it is an actual thing that maybe I don't see people need to add to their wheelchairs, because uh, for Lego to even include it, it must be important. But uh, yeah, so even your Lego minifigures can have their phone fall out of their pocket and get stuck in their wheels. Amazing! <laughs> Is it perfect? I, I don't think so. Um, obviously the colour can change, um, but usually there is a lot more black on wheelchairs, you know. The, the casters for the wheelchair and the rubber for the wheels are black, but that's it. Other than that, everything else is yellow, and normally you'd have, like, the back of the seat be black. I think you can get it yellow, but, you know, it's just one of those things that, like, it it's kind of like a simplified version of it, which is fair enough, you know. If I could have a pure red wheelchair in real life, I think that would be quite cool. But, uh, yeah, I think if this bit was black, and then these side bits, and, like, this yellow bit here, were obviously red, I think that would be more accurate, but I think this does still look good. Functionality-wise, I do have a couple of complaints. Now, as you can see here, I've got the arms up, but if I try and put them down, they do get stuck on the uh, side guard flap things. Um, just trying to block it from some of the light, um, which means that you can't put them down to the wheels. Doesn't mean that you can't do it completely. Um, if you take the figure up out of the seat, put the arms back, you can then put them in on the wheels, um, and that does look good. You can still move the wheels in their hands, um, and I think that is a fairly decent pose. I would have preferred it if you could have them lean back a little bit more. There is still a bit of a space in there. Um, obviously, it's got handles, which mine personally fold down, but I have had wheelchairs in the past that don't fold down, so, you know, that's not too inaccurate. You can even have someone pushing the wheelchair as well, and uh, as long as you pose the figure holding it properly, um, it does look quite good. You do have all four wheels on the ground. Can't do wheelies, as far as I know. Um, I've tried a couple of poses. Um, 
I think the main issue with that though is the way that wheelchair users do wheelies is by constantly moving and you can't have a minifigure moving itself so no wheelies for wheelchair people but yeah I say this is a pretty good interpretation of a lego wheelchair I was originally coming in here to kind of complain about it but upon closer inspection and like more thought it does a pretty good job it's it's in a fairly decent scale as well like Again, not every wheelchair is the same. Some wheelchairs go all the way up and rest on the back of the neck, and then others will stop midway through the back like mine. So, yeah, I mean, for a for a wheelchair, for a toy, at this scale, they've done a really good job. And honestly, I think LEGO deserves more credit for this. Deserves more credit for being able to take such a complicated thing and kind of normalise it within their LEGO sets, because this isn't the only set with a LEGO wheelchair. They've gone and done seven or eight sets with LEGO wheelchairs, which I think is just incredible. And the fact that they've even got racing wheelchairs, and they've started to include other disabilities, like the um, skin tone. I can't remember what it's called. But there was a minifigure from the football stadium with... Uh, skin pig pigmentation issues um, and they've had figures with hearing aids and all of this crazy stuff and I think that is amazing like Barbie they they did the uh, doll that couldn't hear but like I think that's the only other toy that I can really think of that's got such a good representation of disability um, and this is kind of a thank you video to LEGO um, for doing stuff like this. Like, such a small thing, but for it to be done so well, it's, uh, it's impressive. And uh, I, I give them full credit. It's, I can't fault them. So, that is going to be it for today's video. It was just kind of a quick one to that, that popped into my head um, while doing a review of the set and... I'm kind of happy with it. Now, if you wanted to see the full set review of the wheelchair... Oh, wheelchair's gone again. Start the video, throw in the chair. End the video, throwing in the chair. Um, if you do want to see a full video review of this Site26, um, you can do that. It's up on the Khaki Bricks channel. Um, and yeah, that is going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all of that usual stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.